Now problem five is a pretty involved problem, so let's go one step at a time. Calculate the tension in the string if the box is being pulled at constant velocity and to calculate the normal force. The weight of the box is 30 newtons. The frictional force is 10 newtons. And the angle of the applied force right here is 30 degrees. Here's a hint, the normal force is not going to be 30 newtons. So let's first make a force diagram. The force of gravity is another name for weight that was given to us. It's 30 newtons. We know the box is sitting on a surface, so there will be a normal force that acts perpendicular to the surface. There's a force of tension that's at an angle. We'll call it FT. And then we can break that force of tension up because it's doing two things. It's pulling right and up. We can call this FTX and FTY. And it mentions that there's a force of friction in the problem. And we could also infer this because it's balanced forces. And if you have a force going to the right, there must be a force going to the left. And that would likely be friction. Now, we know that the force of friction is 10 newtons. That was given to us in the problem. And we know that the force of friction is equal to FTX. There's one force going to the left and one force going to the right. They're balanced forces, so this is also 10 newtons. So now we've added, I think, everything we can to the diagram, well, except for the angle. We've added everything we can to the diagram. Now it's time to solve for what they're asking for. Let's calculate the tension in the string. So that would be FT. We can use trig to help us with that. We can do the cosine of 30 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And what's adjacent to this 30 degrees is FTX. So cosine 30 equals FTX over FT. And of course, FTX is 10 newtons. So in your calculator, you discover that the force of tension in the string is 11.5 newtons. So let's draw that in. Now we've answered the first question, now let's answer the second one. What is the normal force? Now students will oftentimes say, oh look, we have 30 newtons going down, so we have 30 newtons going up, and they'll say that the normal force is 30 newtons. While it is true that we have 30 going down and 30 going up, we have two forces going up, so it's the sum of these two forces that will equal 30. So the force of gravity going down will be equal to the normal force plus FTY. So let's write in what we know. We know the force of gravity is 30. We know we're solving for the normal force. All we need now is to know FTY, and we can easily solve for FN. So the trig function that will help us find FTY if we know that the hypotenuse is 11.5 is sine. So we can do sine 30 equals opposite, which is FTY, opposite 30, over hypotenuse, which is 11.5. So FTY equals 5.8 newtons. So if FTY is 5.8, then we know that the normal force is 30 minus 5.8, which is 24.2 newtons.